Hello and welcome back to Sky Report, where today we are deep diving into the biggest problems facing Zinedine Zidane at Real Madrid. 5. Simple lack of goals When Real Madrid bid farewell to Zinedine Zidane and Cristiano Ronaldo in the same summer, they fell short on both replacements, forced to recall Zizou as head coach just 10 months after he left with three consecutive Champions Leagues in his locker. But Madrid don't have the buyback option on 50 goals a season Ronaldo and are gravely missing his destructive power. So far this term, with Karim Benzema heading their attack, Real have scored 47 goals, averaging under two goals per 90 minutes for the first season in 10 years. La Liga's top scorer charts are looking a little alien this campaign without a single Real player in the top five. Benzema comes in a hugely disappointing sixth place, with just 13 goals this term, behind Getafe's Mata and Girona's Stuani. The only other Los Blancos player making it into the top 25 is Gareth Bale, who's netted seven times. A 33-year-old Luka Modric heads their assist leaderboard with just four this term, which is ringing alarm bells for their lack of creativity and next season as the Croatian looks like he could be heading out of the Bernabeu and leaving another huge void for Perez to fill. Real are, at the time of writing, 12 points behind first place Barcelona, which is a slight improvement on their finish last term that saw them end the season 17 points shy of the Blaugrana's league topping tally. So why are we worrying? Well, a year ago, they had European silverware to fall back on, whereas 2019 marks the first time in nine years they have failed to progress to the quarterfinals. While the side ranked second in the Liga with 16.4 shots per game and 5.8 of those on target, both these stats are subsequently down from last year, and their expected goals has dropped heavily from 2.4 per 90 to 1.8. The simple solution would be to raid the reported 350 million euro war chest and sign an instant fix world-class striker in the form of Mauro Icardi, who has averaged between 0.7 and 0.8 expected goals and assists for the previous five seasons in Italy. 4. Gareth Bale Their record-breaking signing and their highest paid player, 29-year-old Gareth Bale desperately needs to leave the Spanish capital in the summer for both him and the club. The Welshman was expected to step up to the plate following CR7's departure, but with 188 minutes per goal in the Liga, he hasn't quite filled Cristiano's size nines. Contracted to Madrid until 2022, Bale isn't pulling his weight in terms of creativity with just two assists. He has already been injured for 42 days of this campaign, and he picked up yet another knock during the Ajax game that has seen his return to residency on the physio table. Not exactly known for their budding bromance, the re-arrival of Zidane is bad news for the ex-Tottenham winger, with Guillaume Balaguer describing their relationship as water and oil. But Zidane's biggest problem isn't whether or not Bale goes, but how on earth he's going to shift him. Bale earns a net income of over 12 million euros a year, and is valued at 55 million euros by the CIES. So unless he jumps, pushing him away from a very financially profitable life in Spain could be difficult and encouraging a team to spend 50 mil on an injury-prone out-of-form winger who turns 30 in July, even trickier. Unfortunately for Perez, the club you can always rely on to overspend on ancient relics, Chelsea, could be out of the market. But should they pull off a sale, Kylian Mbappe would be the perfect replacement. But we can't see PSG letting him go for any figure. Let us know who you think the best buy would be in the comments below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to EFD. Three, defensive frailties. Proving just how huge and deeply rooted the problems are for Zidane, not only is there an issue in front of their opponent's goal, there's one in front of their own net too. Over the 18-19 season, Real Madrid have conceded 1.2 goals per 90 minutes, the highest average in the last decade, and a total of 32 goals have been conceded in the league this term. That's six more than Barcelona and double the number the defence of Atletico have conceded. This season, Casemiro has offered Real's backline way less protection, and Los Blancos could do with him reverting to his role further deep to help strengthen their defensive frailties. Pair that with the fractions behind the scenes between Sergio Ramos and Florentino Perez, and it's clear there are few issues to settle. Santiago Solari lost faith in 30-year-old Marcelo during his tenure in the Bernal dugout, and while the arrival of Zidane might bring more game time, it's been reported that the Brazilian still wants out. Huge worries over his fitness and weight, as well as a dip in form that has seen him make just 2.2 tackles and deceptions per 90 this term, as well as zero assists compared to the 10 he contributed during his peak in the 16-17 season. Signs are suggesting that Marcelo is past his days at left-back, 
but question marks remain hanging over his replacement Sergio Reguilón, leaving the problem unsolved. The recent signing of Eder Militao from Porto for 47 million euros will help their deficiencies, but there are a lot of issues on the pitch and off it that Zidane will need to fix before they compete for silverware next season. 2. An ageing squad Zidane has put pen to paper on a deal to keep him in the dugout until 2022, meaning his return to management isn't a short-term fix, and he has a responsibility to make Madrid great again. Unfortunately for Zizou, not all footballers escape father time like Ronaldo, and the Real squad are ageing, making his job more difficult, especially for the coach who has previously relied on experienced players. We can look at the infamous game versus Ajax as a symbolic representation of Real's current state of play, as old experienced arrogance fell apart at the hands of a young dynamic team. The game saw the youngsters from Amsterdam put four past a Real team that was an average age of four years their senior, and the lineup picked by Solari was about as old as it gets in Madrid. In fact, eight of Real's current players will be over the age of 30 next season, with captain Sergio Ramos and Luka Modric leading the way. The loss to Eric Ten Hag's side signaled the first time in nine years that Real won't be in the final four, let alone the last eight. That joins the squad's impressive tally of 14 losses, the highest in a decade, in a record-breaking 2018-19 campaign. It's probably their own constant success over the last 10 years that has hampered them planning for the future. When their consecutive Champions League wins began in 2016, Madrid kind of opted a don't-fix-what-isn't-broken approach. And for the next three seasons, they weren't proved wrong. Apart from Pepe and CR7, everyone who started the final in 2016 is still in the squad, and at least six are first choices. The transfer rumour mill is spinning at full speed, and while we know that Florentino Perez has given the go-ahead to spend big, noises aren't surrounding budding young talent, with Zidane keen to finally put 28-year-old Eden Hazard in a Real Madrid shirt. The younger replacements like Courtois, Vasquez and Reguilón haven't been as convincing as their predecessors, and a lot of pressure is now sitting on the shoulders of Vinicius Jr. as a starlet that needs to shine. Whether or not Zidane opts to keep faith in his reliable elders, we could see this problem get worse and worse over the next season. 1. High Expectations If you want to know how hard the stands are at the Bernabeu, just ask Gareth Bale, who has collected six pieces of major silverware in as many years, yet still finds himself booed off the pitch by the Madrid faithful. A total points tally of 51 has them five behind their neighbours at Leti, and four wins away from the top of the table. That positioning won't be pleasing the Spordos Blancos fans, and leaves them with absolutely nothing to play for. The Frenchman's surprising decision to return to the Spanish capital could prove to be a genius move by the coach. Zidane saw that the Real ship was sinking, and jumped before they hit the iceberg. He's let Lopetegui, followed by Solari, take the fall and the blame. And now returns as the saviour, with Perez forced to give him everything he wants to fix their problems, including a salary of 12 million euros a year and a reported 350 million euros to spend in the summer. Unlike Lopetegui and Solari, Zidane's legendary status as both player and manager gains him instant respect from the fans. As the third manager this season, Los Blancos supporters can relax that in his previous 149 games as a coach, he won 9 trophies and lost just 16 times, two more than they managed in just this season. The pressure is off this season with the main goal probably to overtake Simeone's Atletico and for Ramos to be able to dig out Griezmann one more time. But next term, the fans and the Real Madrid boardroom will be back with their very high expectations and very loud opinions, meaning Zidane could have a tough few seasons coming up. So those were our five problems at Real Madrid. Have we missed any out? And if you think we have, please leave them in the comments below. Whilst you're down there, hit that bell to be notified on every EFD video. If you've enjoyed this, click the video on screen right now. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.